I had the opportunity to explode every single Discord server that uses the double counter bot because it had a vulnerability that allowed me to give myself admin. And the best part is that the timing of this all was perfect because double counter just released their controversial lens feature that everyone is going to hate. Now let's start off with the vulnerability. Wait, I mean vulnerabilities because yes, there is more than one. But I first want to give a massive thank you to XYZ Eva for finding all of these vulnerabilities and I'll have their website and their GitHub linked in the description. Now, double Counter is a very popular Discord bot in over 400,000 Discord servers, and it's meant to be used as a verification bot to block alt accounts, VPNs, and raids. It is a Discord security bot, and even on the front page of Double Counter, it says military grade, data powered server protection. Remember, military grade. Vulnerability number one the password into public code. What an intense title. But this is the dashboard of the Double Counter bot, and this vulnerability is honestly so stupid that a moron like myself could do it. Basically, what you do is you would right-click the page and click View Page Source. And if we scroll down, there's this index.js file. And if I click on this index.js file, we get even more code. And just turning it into a View Source URL so it looks a little bit fancier, what I'm going to do is revolutionary. First, I'm going to go back in time because this is patched right now. But I am going to search for a special word called client underscore secret. And it turns out in this public JavaScript source code on the dashboard, board of double counter, it contains a client secret. Now, what is a client secret? Good question. I don't know. So it turns out this client secret is kind of like a password. And what can we do with this password? Well, if I scroll up, we have a whole bunch of things that we can do, but there's one that I want to point out. Applications.commands.update. It turns out that this silly little client secret, this little special bit of code, has a fun little silly purpose because what it allows us to do is change the name of slash commands on double counter. Eva decided to change the man verify command to man verify a truly the most impressive bit of tomfoolery on the planet but being able to change the slash commands of a discord bot is very bad you could change all the command names to racial slurs or you could do what i really wanted to do and just self-advertise yourself military grade but boys this was just the first vulnerability vulnerability to oppenheimer of discord now to show you how bad this second vulnerability is i'm going to show you my pov V as a victim of this exploit. So you'll see I have my beautiful Discord server with double counter. You need to verify, and when you verify using double counter, you get the verified role. So I'm minding my own business, you know, watching Fortnite's hottest emote dances on YouTube. When someone joins my Discord server, and instead of having to verify using double counter, they get automatically verified, which is really weird. And I click on their profile, and it turns out they have this danger role, which is our admin role. This person just joined my Discord server and got admin, and now they can nuke my server or do whatever the heck they want with it. How in the f did they actually do that? Well, that's a good question. Let me explain how this vulnerability got set up and how it works. So when you add double counter to your Discord server, it has the administrator permissions. And when you set up double counter, you need to put it above your verified role. And since double counter has administrator, it can give every single role underneath it. And in this case, I am safe because my moderator and my admin roles are above double counter. But let's go to a military grade protected Discord server. In fact, this is the double counter community support server. And their double counter bot has two roles. If we scroll down, it has double counter and it has double counter 2.2.1. Now, if we look at the permissions of this Discord server, we'll notice that double counter 2.2.1 is at the very top of the list and it has administrator. And since the role is at the very top, it can give every single role in this Discord server. Administrator, moderator, owner and developer. It does not matter. This double counter server can be absolutely blown up with this vulnerability. And with double counter being used in 400,000 Discord servers, there is going to be a lot of Discord servers that I can blow up. That's why it's called the Oppenheimer of Discord. So how do I get Double Counter to give me admin? Well, first we need to understand how the internet works. Whenever you do something on the internet, like add a reaction in Discord, it gets logged as an HTTP request. And what I can do is I can actually copy this request, and I'm going to open up a piece of software called Insomnia. Now I'm going to import from curl, I'm going to paste in the request, and I have to change my Discord password after this. And if I send that message again to Discord servers, it will add a 
reaction back. And with this fundamental knowledge, we can now exploit double counter. So if I go into the double counter dashboard and we open up the network tab again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the verified users from everyone to admin, for example, and click on activate. And as you can see, we have this request here that changes the server settings. And inside of the payload, it tells us to change the verification rule to admin. Now, if I go back in time before this was fixed, there was a field called ESID, which meant encrypted server ID. And this string of text basically told Double Counter that you had the authority to change settings. So if you figured out the ESID for the Double Counter Discord server, you could change all of their Double Counter settings and make it where if you verify, you get admin, which is not good. So how did we figure out what this ESID is? Well, it's actually extremely simple. And this is from the perspective of XYZ Eva, but they go on the Double Counter dashboard, they open up the inspect page, and they go and click on their debugger. And what they're doing is that they're poking around in the dashboard until they trip a specific function in the JavaScript. So they notify to open DMs, and you'll see that in their debugger, they had a breakpoint which paused the whole entire website when it reached this specific part of code. And in the code, you can see that it has p.esid equals y, and y equals this garbage dot encrypt, and this is a function to encrypt your server ID, and v equals dcounter nath nath, and m equals your server ID. So couldn't we just use this encrypt function and replace our server ID with a different server ID? Maybe a server that we wanted to explode? Well, that's a good question. And it turns out XYZ Eva did exactly that. And using that ESID, they go into Insomnia, what I just showed you, and they change around the settings. So they change the mode of the Discord server so that it automatically verifies you. And then they're just going through and figuring out what the verification role is. But you just get the role ID, you copy the ESID, you paste it in and make sure everything is all good to go. And once you press send, it updates the Discord server. And once they change those settings, they just join back on my Discord server and kaboom, they now have admin. And with that vulnerability, nothing was stopping us from ruining the Double Counter Discord server or ruining any of the 400,000 Discord servers that Double Counter is used on. Assuming, of course, the Double Counter role is above an admin role. And with a Discord bot touting military-grade server protection, these two vulnerabilities being this easily found is ridiculous. It literally took one person one day to figure this out. Now, I do want to point out that there is a happy ending to this whole entire situation. Because Eva has a brain, she decided not to raid a whole bunch of Discord servers or cause chaos or even let me do it. Instead, Eva decided to report the issues directly to Double Counter. Now, despite me crapping on Double Counter for being military-grade garbage, I do want to point out that their owner, Nathan, handled this very well. We made a support ticket, and literally within a day, this was fixed. And guess what? There actually was financial compensation offered. So if you're someone that manages to stumble across a bug on a massive Discord bot that allows you to get admin on any Discord server, instead of ruining every single Discord server, maybe just report it, because it might be worth your while. Now, the insurmountable high of a Discord bot developer making an actual good decision unfortunately ends here, because Nathan decided to add a new feature to Double Counter called Double Counter Lens. You're in for a wild ride, because this is a game-changing feature for moderation on Discord. But Double Counter Lens is a feature that allows server staff to generate a detailed two-page report about a user's behavior across the entire network of Double Counter's hundreds of thousands of servers. All of that will be rounded up in a comprehensive and global behavior score, or as I like to call it, your Discord social credit score. Now, I actually use this command on myself. I am an outstanding Double Counter citizen, and after this video goes live, I will be at negative 300. That was a joke. But in this report, it also tells you if you've been kicked or banned, and if you had any of your messages deleted or automated. And that's where we get into the problems with this feature. The first one is that people don't act the same throughout Discord. When I'm on the Beluga Discord server, I act like a complete moron to blend in with the crowd. But when I'm on the Fortnite Discord server, I act like an absolute genius, writing out paragraphs and paragraphs of perfectly grammatically correct fan fiction. Now, the second major issue is just privacy in general. You are being tracked across Discord servers with Double Counter. And here's the thing, when you go to the Double Counter dashboard, there's no way to turn off this lens feature. I checked in Premium, you can't turn it off. In Preferences, you cannot turn this thing off. Configuration, you cannot turn this feature off. There is no way to opt out. I'm not sure if you're able to delete your data, it might be a massive pain in the rear end, but in general, no one likes being tracked all across Discord. Now, I want to point out a very big issue. It's the fact that your social credit score will go down if your messages are blocked by Discord's auto mod. And some Discord servers, like mine, have a very aggressive auto mod, which means a lot of people are getting their social credit score on Double Counter getting absolutely nuked if we actually use this bot. Fundamentally, this is stupid and a waste of time, in my opinion. But you know what isn't a waste of time? Going outside, which I'm going to do right now. I know, I go outside, it's crazy. Anyways, bye-bye, I love you. Mwah.